So let's look at uh, subscat the virus tendon now. Oh, no, we'll just do subscat. So we're going to have an external rotation. So here, right side of the screen is medial. We're at 1812. You can see the subscat tendon going into that lesser tuberosity. Here we're looking at the subscapularis tendon inserting on the lesser tuberosity. Right side of the screen is medial. Here you can see the subscapularis tendon as it glides under the coracoid process. Sometimes you can get a bursitis where the tendon rubs underneath the coracoid. So here you can see a little bit of motion of the subscap going underneath the coracoid process. As you externally rotate, you can start seeing the biceps tendon. We see the subscap tendon sliding underneath the coracoid process. And here you can see how the subscapularis muscle interdigitates with the tendon. And here with external rotation, you're bringing out that biceps tendon. You can also see the coracohumeral ligament that overlies the biceps tendon. Here we're looking at it in cross section. Again, that muscle interdigitation with the tendon. Here, left side of the screen is inferior, and you also want to go both in this medial and lateral aspects, just cover the whole tendon until it inserts on that lesser tuberosity. Here we're at 1813. 1814, we're going in the inferior aspect of the subscap tendon. And then going so as you go superior, now your probe is in a sagittal plane essentially, but the biceps tendon curves around, so you can actually see the biceps tendon in a cross-sectional or short axis view. Anything to the right of that, you're going to start getting into supraspinate. So you can see that here, you're in a short axis view to the subscap tendon, and you're also in a short axis view to the biceps tendon.